Now it's time to complete our guessing game MVC edition by adding the correct.jsp component to the project. Recall that in the MVC software design pattern, a JSP is typically responsible for creating a view. We have already created one view with the guess.jsp, which shows up if the guess is incorrect. We're now going to create the second view, which will show up when the guess is correct. So if, if you have multiple possible views, as we do now, you can use multiple JSPs, one for each view. Let's have a look at the IPO for our correct.jsp component. On the input side, all we really need is the message. You might recall that the number of guesses was included in the message as it was created on the servlet. The message comes from the game servlet. On the output side, we're also going to provide the message to the client, but we're going to wrap it in a bunch of HTML so it'll show up in a browser. To do this, we'll simply need to get the message from the attribute and display the results. So here we are back in Eclipse. Let's double click to make the page fill the screen. And let's put in our Java code to get the attribute. Message is a string, recall, and it's set as an attribute. So we can do request.get attribute message. We want to store it locally as a string. And we see that there is a type mismatch because once again an attribute is always a general object and we need to cast it back to the size back to the object that we need for the title let's copy this a little bit from our previous title Let's put the results. Our body. Let's put a headline that's exactly the same as the title. We only need a couple things in the body here. We need to provide the message. Recall we can do a special JSP print tag. Let's wrap that in a paragraph. And finally, in another paragraph, let's put a hyperlink back to the index page. Let's exhort them to play again. That's all there is to it in this view. We got our string, which is the message as an attribute and we displayed it in HTML. Pretty simple. In this video we created the correct.jsp file and we reviewed how to retrieve attributes from the request object. This has been a Piercy production.